Intercept? No. Oh, oh let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are ready for the fourth rebuild of Madden 2023. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Now the Jacksonville Jaguars are currently, uh, from when Madden first came out, the fourth worst rated team in Madden. But before I start with that, I'm going to let you guys know a little something I'm going to be doing different when it comes to these rebuilds. I decided I'm not going to be cherry picking from free agency anymore. Uh, being able to pick up players from free agency and, and using them for picks is kind of something that doesn't really happen in the NFL in real life. Um, in Madden, it's kind of like a cheat. I want to be able to win with what the team currently has. I want to be able to transform the team uh, from what it has on offense and defense, being able to trade away those players that they currently have to make uh, room for other players that we can pick up in the off season, right? Um, I also do plan on giving you guys like a summary before I start of how the team is doing currently, where they sit and all that stuff. Uh, before I start, <laughs> feel free to drop a like and subscribe as it really does do help me out. But if you guys don't want to, then don't. I can't control you. I can't control you on that aspect though. Um, so, so let's get started, right? So the Jacksonville Jaguars, they are currently two and five on the regular season. They currently sit third in the AFC South, which is kind of a bummer in a sense, right? Because I know in the first three weeks of the season, they actually led the AFC South. They look pretty promising with the uh, players they were able to sign. Cause I know this team doesn't have a lot of cap space uh, going on into the next two years uh, for this rebuild. So it's gonna be, make things a little bit difficult. I gotta make able to make some wiggle room and be able to bring in some players to help us out or develop some players in that kind of sense. Um, in the 2022 NFL draft, they ended up picking up the edge Trayvon Walker out of Georgia, and they traded back into the first round actually to pick up linebacker Devin Lloyd, uh, which is actually pretty good. He is out of Utah as well. Um, now, uh, the schemes I'm going to be using in this rebuild are going to be the West Coast spread uh, because we do have a lot of weapons on the offensive side which kind of helps us out. And on the defensive side, I'm going to run the base 3-4 kind of to get Josh Allen coming off one edge and Trayvon Walker coming off the other edge to sack the quarterback. We got to sack the quarterback, get to the quarterback, create some pressure, and hopefully win ball games that way, right? Now, I want to do one thing, and it's, I want to be able to tell you guys the top uh, players I want to resign because I never really resigned a lot of players, so I just use the money that the team has. But this team has players that I'm wanting to resign and bring back, right? Now, top resign targets are Josh Allen. We have to resign that guy. We need him. Uh, Evan Ingram. I know he's an 81, but I want to resign him back. Because other than that, other than Christian Kirk, ooh, we're not looking too hot. We're not looking too hot on that aspect. Another guy I want to resign is Shaquille Griffin, but um, we're not going to have to resign him until season two or three, I believe, going into it. Um, I have a lot of trade targets as well. I want to talk about trade targets, but I have way too many to go over on this list. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the uh, lineup for offense and defense before I start making some trades. So on offense, this is what we're currently working with. I move Walker Litter to the center position because I know I have Jawan Taylor on the right and then Cam Robinson on the left. Um, uh, James Robinson, that is one target I want to be able to trade away because we have Travis Etienne here. He's going to be here for the next three years and help us win some ball games. James Robinson, I can trade him away for a really good package, uh, as well as what Marvin Jones. He is highly rated, but he is 30. I'm going to have to resign him, and I could just use that money for something else or just get a pick in general for him. Um, Christian Kirk is the big money man that they signed in the offseason for the wide receiver position. If you ask me, kind of overpaid, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, so on defense, you guys already know what we got on defense. We have uh, Oladokin here, middle linebacker, starting number one. We have Devin Lloyd, uh, the 27th overall pick out of Utah, and Trayvon Walker, who was the first overall pick out of Georgia. Uh, Josh Allen coming off the edge. Um, the D-line can use some work on the edges. I did move Kaysaw there to the left end position because we really don't got anybody right there. Uh, Robert Harris is a guy we might have to resign, but his contract is kind of weird for being a 73 overall watch. It's kind of surprising. Um, Wingard might have to go. Darren Williams and Griffin are going to be our cornerback duo. Special teams, we have uh Eli elliot fry i believe kicker uh we don't have a good kicker i'm gonna let you guys know that right now our kicker is kind of doo-doo <laughs> uh we have cook here as our punter or cookie i'm gonna call him cookie in this video screw it whatever on the specialist side of things again this is before we start making our trades uh we have these people i'm not gonna go over them it's usually just the same names that we carry practice squad uh I don't need to worry about the proxy squad right now currently so that's the team we are currently walking rocking with at the moment let me make some trades and then i will show you the final team and then we will sim on into the end of the regular season one second 
All right, so first trade in this video, I ended up giving away uh, Jones, Smoot, and our seventh round pick for the first round pick of the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, we just got to pretty much store up all the draft capital that we can going up into this following draft because we're not going to have any cap to work with. Uh, being able to get rid of these players will kind of open up that salary cap to be able to sign players in the offseason. We're probably going to work with at least like seven mil. So that's kind of not it at the moment because of having to resign a Josh Allen. But I'll see what, what I can do trying to open up some more salary cap. But for right now, that's going to be the first trade of this video. All right. I'm not really too proud of this one because I did give away three, three, uh, two third round picks and James Robinson to the Texans to be able to snag that pick and their fifth round. So we have a first round now. Uh, to be able to move up instead of having that third and then the fifth work would be for next year for to swap out with the third that we have so james robinson for the first pick and the fifth basically all right cool so i was able to actually trade away a 72 rated tight end and our second for this coming draft for the first round pick of the Chargers for next year's draft to be able to help us out um i have no idea how they're gonna do but i can always use that pick for something else later if i really really wanted to and we traded away six round as well um i know it feels like i'm giving up a lot but it feels like i'm getting good stuff in return we are probably not going to use dan arnold dan arnold what the heck i can't even speak uh i'm sorry uh but i feel like we got good value but i feel like i gave away too much anyway yo oops i didn't mean to do that i didn't mean to do that I traded away our fourth string cornerback for a second round pick from the Rams. Uh, I know I did trade away wing guard too. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I didn't think it'd be accepted though as well either. Oopsie. Uh, so we ended up picking up the second round pick from the uh, uh, Los Angeles Rams. That was a straight swap. Ooh. So I kind of had to think about this, right? Um, we don't really have a lot of weapons, right? So um, I ended up trading uh, for Brisker, the strong safety for the Chicago Bears. Uh, he was a uh, rookie. He is a rookie. So I kind of figured they would have given me a little bit more of a struggle. I guess not. They just straight swapped for him. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, Brisker, the strong safety. I went out of Penn State. Came out as Penn State for Levisca Chanel. The only reason why I traded Levisca Chanel here was because he's actually traded in real life to the Panthers and they don't even have him on the team to begin with. Um, uh, I guess I got a first rounder that was able to be here for the next four years for us in a sense, but I feel like I should have gotten at least a third for him. Uh, but nonetheless, we move. Here we are uh, with the team going into year number one. So the Jacksonville Jaguars, we pretty much look the same up front. The only difference is that we traded away James Robinson and I believe Marvin Jones Jr. We traded away as well and LaVisca Chanel. So my goal is to be able to draft a receiver and work from there. Um, and on defensive side of things, we have pretty much everything the same. The only thing that I changed was Jaquan Brisker starting at the strong safety, Andre Sisko, since he's the one year, uh, one year or rookie. No, he's definitely one year out of Syracuse, I remember. Um, and then we have Lloyd backing up every linebacker position. So if he doesn't, if he's not in, he could be playing somewhere else if the other people are tired. We have Muma also backing up those positions just in case if they're not in. He's backing up other positions as well to develop. Develop and develop is what we need. Uh, Tufele, uh, rookie out of USC, I believe, or one year out of USC. Uh, we need him to develop as well because we don't want Robertson Harrison starting because I know he's not going to be here long term. Uh, Chase on, I have him backing up each of the edge rushers when it comes to being a specialist to help us out there. Uh, we have Griffin and Darren Williams starting. Uh, everything here. Here, it's pretty much the same. We have Agnew return with their kicker still the same. Um, Trayvon Walker, and they're gonna flip flop back in each other up because if one's not in, I want the other one to just try to develop, get more playing time, get some tax, and so forth, so on. Chase on's gonna be backing them up uh, when it comes to that, just in case whenever they're tired. Uh, Ola Dokin with Cisco and Devin Lloyd there. Uh, Campbell with Andre Cisco there. We just need Cisco to develop as well. Christian Kirk in the slot. The more touches, the better. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we, you have a big contract. I want you to be able to get a dev trade higher going on to the next following seasons anyway with that being said i will see you guys at the end of the first season of this rebuild let's get it okay so we are coming up at the end we're coming up at the we're coming to the end of season number one as you guys can currently see, okay we finished eight and nine that's kind of where i expected us to be when it comes into terms of like winning ball games and stuff um this team can potentially make a push into the playoffs which can't surprise a lot of people uh this team can also be a playoff sleeper it can actually push into the playoffs i've only seen this team make it to the super bowl once in the first year uh which can be pretty crazy that can be pretty crazy so there is a potential for that to happen the only thing is we tied with the titans and where did that put us i think the Titans snuck in 
Did they sneak? Okay, no, they didn't sneak in. I guess, I guess we're pretty excited about that because division rivals and whatnot. Um, so at least they didn't make it. That's good. That's good. As long as they didn't make it, I'm happy. I'm happy they didn't make it. That's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. If our division rivals ain't making it, then everybody's happy. Because uh, we don't want Derrick Henry in the playoffs at all. But the Colts are a pretty good team. They have a good running back and with the 196. And I believe it's like a 99 going into the third year. Which makes things a lot more difficult having to go up against um, going, going up against them in a sense. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the stats uh, for season number one. So Trevor Lawrence finished with 4,200 yards passing. Uh, 24 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. That's kind of not really good stats, if you ask me. 24 touchdowns, 15. That's almost a... That's not even a 2-to-1 ratio. That's like a 2-to-1.5 like ratio when it comes to touchdown and interception ratio. 70% uh, completion percentage, which is actually good, but the 15 interceptions really ain't it. So we have Travis Etienne with 1,100 yards rushing, 13 touchdowns. Pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. Um... Uh, we have 2,000 yard receivers. Great. You know what? Christian Kirk and Emily Green Ingram. Those are the two players that we need to stand out to help us out win ball games later on down the line. Uh, Jamal Agnew, almost 800 yards receiving. Zay Jones, also. You know what? It's not too bad. We didn't do too bad when it comes to being um, uh, being able to move the, the ball down the field on the offensive side of things. Jamal Agnew actually had 10 receiving touchdowns, which is actually pretty good. So, Ola Doken had 140. Devin Lloyd had 136. Yo, what? This is a duo. This is a, if he does not win Defensive Rookie of the Year, I'm going to be mad upset. That is crazy. That is way too good to not be Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, so, uh, so those are the tackles. We had Josh Allen at 90, and then Darren Williams and Andre Sisco at 80, 84, respectfully. Um, on the sacks, I know you guys have already seen it. We had Josh Allen with 14 sacks on the season. 14. 14, that's actually pretty good. Trayvon Walker, he's a rookie. He's a rookie, 70. So I didn't expect much. I didn't expect much. Five and a half there. Aladokin had two and a half. Uh, Chase on had two and a half. Um, and the interior D-line had one and a half, uh, respectfully, there. Uh, Andre Sisco had five interceptions. That is not too bad for the one-year pro out of Syracuse. Uh, Shaquille Griffin had four. Aladokin uh, had three. Darren Williams had three. You know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty Devin Lloyd had one. Uh, then again, he is a rookie as well. Um, how do we do kicking-wise? 80%. I could always sign a better kicker, right? I can always sign a better kicker. Any kick return touchdowns? No, okay. Not a punt return touchdown. Either. That sucks. All right, so we finished 28th in offensive yards, which kind of sucks because I feel like we could have been a little bit better than that. But I mean, defense, we're basically the bottom half, but the first one in the bottom half, if that makes any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. We, we suck. We suck. So I'm going to make some staff moves, but I will see you guys at the end of the regular season. Uh, at the, oh, my bad. At the end of the Super Bowl to show you guys who won what award, basically. Now we're back. I'm sending to the Super Bowl. I kind of had a kind of adjust our staff because our staff was kind of doo-doo. I don't want to spend any points on them when I could be spending points on some other things. So as you guys can see, the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs ended up making it to the Super Bowl. Um, and the winner will be for the season recap at the, I'm guessing, Packers, 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 Packers. Never mind, they got blown out. <laughs> Never mind, the Packers ended up getting blown out. You guys see there, we have 40 mil to work with when it comes to the cap, but that doesn't include us having to re-sign Josh Allen. So Derek Stingley Jr. won Defensive Rookie of the Year. Okay, I give it to him, I give it to him, I guess. I guess. Brees Hall won Offensive Rookie. Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Christian McCaffrey won Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, Nathaniel Hackett won Coach of the Year, which with the Broncos is just surprising because in real life, it's a different story. Okay. Uh, Josh Allen, NFL MVP there. Okay. Um, so I will see you guys at the end of the uh, free agency period going on into the draft to see what our picks are looking like currently. All right. So we are coming up to the end of the free agency period. And I'm going to be honest. We didn't really resign a lot. We didn't resign like we had them anyway. We didn't sign a lot of big names. We just had roster fillers to help us out. So we had Rashad Fenton uh, because Darius Williams is a good corner, but we I want to have depth when it comes to the cornerback position uh, because we don't know who's going to be here later on down the line. We need a kicker. So like Zane Gonzalez, welcome to the squad, 75. Hopefully you do better than Elliot Fry. Donovan Peoples-Jones because we needed another receiver. This was all working out of nine mil budget, out of a nine mil budget when it came to our salary cap. Jordan Willis, uh, right, and I signed him on a cheap deal to help us out um, on the D-line to help him. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. So let's go ahead and go into the draft here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what picks we have. I don't even bother to look when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, the one thing we currently need is an offensive lineman because we lost um, 
what is it what's his name Jawan taylor in the offseason we currently hold the 14th pick which is not gonna fly for us i do not want to have the 14th pick going up into this draft uh, because i want to be able to sign players that i like um so keep in mind when i implement a um a a, uh, a draft class it's kind of one i built on my own i kind of went off the basis of what people had and just built from there kind of when i get bored i just go in and just adjust uh players where they currently sit in um in rankings when it comes to draft prospects and stuff like that this is my most recent one but i do need to update it uh going for tomorrow uh quentin johnson is a top receiver but i know the other top receiver is that uh hyatt guy from tennessee uh, I need to put him up here too and all that good stuff. Got to make some different changes and so forth and so on. But currently right now, this is what we're rocking with. Um, I do have something I want to do, but I want to jump the lines for them. Uh, I want to see if I could jump the lines. Here's, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I wanted to do something, but I completely forgot to do it before we started. Um, so I'm going to have to do it for on the basis for next year. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the trade block, right? And I currently hold this pick 14 17 18 what i meant to do was trade this first overall um to the seattle seahawks here because i know they have one of the higher picks in the draft and i kind of put my uh points on to having to be able to move up to the draft so i want to try to swap four here uh and for 10 for next year if i could sneak this 24th pick i will um on that basis i might as well just give them like this second if i could to be able to sneak all these first round picks it's a possibility, I guess. Uh, what if I give you guys 17 and just snag those picks? Uh, it, it can work out, but this is just something that I don't want to give up too much. I know they're going to be worse than us. Uh, this is the Chargers pick for next year. I already have this pick implemented. Dang, I should have made this before we started. Um, second, uh, I'll let you guys keep that one. But if I could snag for this potential one to jump up to four and for next year, I think that'd be great. You know what that's great i'll take that all day we move up to four which is pretty good for us i want to keep continuing to move up i have no idea why we're negative but i guess four is gonna have to work for now because i don't know if it's gonna even let me make a trade let me let me try to make a trade what if i try to trade this pick um and walk over to the lines and be like hey yo can i jump you real quick to third um i don't want to but i kind of have to at the moment what if i give you guys so that pick doesn't Okay, it exists, I guess, but it's just invisible. So we jump to third. I just hope the, the Steelers don't take our guy because I know they do need linemen as well. The Jets, I hope you guys go quarterback. Oh. This cannot be serious. This cannot. Why do the Jets go linemen? Why? You have better prospects on the board. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see. I wanted to snag Paris Johnson with the third overall pick dang dude that is not what i wanted to see do you guys go quarterback will anderson okay that's great we didn't want will anderson anyway we have great edge rushers coming off the the right and left side of the ball but dang dude i wanted oh man that sucks that really does suck i waited this whole time for paris johnson and i can't even snag him that's crazy um so what i'm gonna do is give our boy some more weapons right we didn't we don't have a lot of receivers that are really high end um we don't need a running back we don't need a quarterback obviously i could drop a little bit if i so choose to jalen carter can help us out on the d line uh, but i want to take a risk here and try to hold off on picking up quentin johnson quentin johnson will the lions snag him that's the thing will the lions snag him? what can i get away for a haul here um to potentially give up this pick for something see look i can go to 11 and then move up using our picks i can snag another first rounder that's well, that's a good thing i can do that 16 22 that is our pick this is actually our pick so we're i'm projected to be better than that so i don't want that pick at all um patriots are you guys uh see the lines will give me the first pick but i kind of want two picks i think like this one's actually pretty good but i want a team that's going to do poopy like i don't know the philadelphia eagles need a quarterback and if they don't get a quarterback then we have a good shot at it um patriots you guys currently sit on 21 can i trust you guys to no but i not, i wouldn't be able to move up with that pick i want to be able to continue to move up um the Bengals are enticing but they have a good quarterback for the future currently so i don't think that's gonna be the move uh, i'm gonna snag this pick from the lions 
and use that for this is gonna be weird i'm gonna try to use a six to move back up to that spot so technically i snag a pick back from there <laughs> i'm gonna try to cheese this i'm gonna try to cheese this because i want to have more picks to move up with our other pick um just go manage roster trade i'm gonna be like hey yo lines i know you guys just gave me a third but what if i give you guys a fifth to move back into that spot can we work can we work something out lines like me and you me and you just swap picks just me and you we're best buddy best buddy old pals um what if you know what here here i'll, I'll make it here give me 3 12 and i'll give you 4 14 and i will also throw in a fifth in there how does that sound <laughs> i jumped up two spots just for a fifth dude that is hilarious so i'm gonna go ahead and make our selection i'm gonna pick up quentin johnson here um I really, 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 really wanted a tackle, but I guess that's not gonna fly. Um, I could use, I could jump up into the round and pick up like Zion Nelson towards the back end of the draft to help us out. But Quentin Johnson, welcome to the squad. Um, hopefully you could be the number one receiver for us and help us out because we do need a lot of help. Um, he is a big target out of TCU, believe it or not. He is jumping up the draft boards and I believe he can help us uh going on into these uh this draft so i'm gonna go into the next pick. i'm gonna try to jump up here i might jump up with like the Jalen carter went cj stroud went that's good none of the guy the guy we want is still there pick 12 we're at seven i'm gonna jump uh with washington uh washington can we here you go let me see i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if i could jump up because i also want another target for um our boy here 17 we could pick up a guy at 17 I ain't, I ain't too worried about that honestly uh washington commanders where you at where you at commanders here you go can i give you guys 12 for nine and then i know this pick is gonna be great the fifth one great potential at that one thank you thank you i'll jump up to that spot that'll help us out uh here hopefully our guy doesn't get taken uh bryce young good 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 do not take him okay jackson smith and jig were great great um zion nelson like i said is gonna be the guy we're gonna pick up at towards the end of the draft when we need some um some talent back there but another guy i want to try to snag here would give um uh trevor lawrence another weapon and it's gonna be michael mayer the tight end out of notre dame we don't need edge rushers because we already have edge rushers technically we don't need a linebacking core our corners are already good with all the freaking talent that we have so line is one thing we need to do and just more weapons more and more weapons dolphin people's jones quentin johnson michael mayer welcome to the squad this is the first time i drafted you i believe so hopefully you can be really really good for us you flexing on me don't flex on me put your guns down boy number 87 out of notre dang now we're just gonna jump up here uh there's nothing i really can do with this pick um or well, not with the pick but we kind of have to wait for the moment uh now i'm gonna see if i could jump back to like 20 I think that would be good just to get more draft capital for us. Can I jump back to like, perfect. Can I snag two first, honestly? <laughs> Hold on, I have to like, no, I'm just like, wait, on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, no, oh no, wait no, oh no. Wait, how does this, how does it go? Wait no, wait no. Hold on now, hold on. A second, that's more players that could be potentially good for us. Actually, actually though, actually like actually the third, Ooh, talent, 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 talent. Um, 24, double first. Yo, Chiefs, hey, you didn't have to do that. Good, I'm gonna do that and then jump back with that 30 second pick. I'm gonna jump with like the Colts or something. Um, Colts, uh, you're gonna be the team that I'm gonna swap with here because I still do need a lineman and I just want that pick for next year, honestly. Uh, 32 and colts i will swap you guys if you guys really really want to be cool though like be cool with me like on all honesty though like give me 22 and i will give you guys this fifth how does that sound i could potentially give you guys a six don't do that don't be like that at me don't be like that at me give me i'll give you the sixth i'll give you a sixth okay what if i give you i guess i'll give you a fourth I, fourth 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 here you go here i'll give you a fourth Okay, I guess double fourth is what's going to do it for you guys, huh? Double fours for that 20 second pick. Or not. Okay, that's great. That's great. What if I give you guys a uh, third for next year, but take away my, my fourth back? Damn, I fucked that up. It went, it went away. So give me this. I will give you guys 
um my third for next year and you guys uh give me your uh 22nd great i'll take that great great moving up in the draft to be able to sign another lineman to help us out hopefully he doesn't go but if he goes i'll kind of be low-key upset nolan smith linebacker uh Keishon butte out of lsu he's another prospect that's jumping up board that from what i've seen anyway uh jordan battle safety pretty good Oh, Stronsky, thank you. Uh, Stronsky was a guy I wanted that could have been in play as well. Um, but I'm just going to go with the next best thing. Um, there's two people that I have created just for my Steelers draft for later on. Just to, like help Kenny pick it out. And Damien Jordan is one of them. He's just like a made up name. I came up with my head. I was like something name and then just came up. So Damien Jordan is, is always going to be out of play for me. Uh, he's always going to be out of play. That's just, it's just not a fair pick if that makes any sense. So Zion Nelson, welcome to the squad. You're going to protect Trevor Lawrence and I hope you do a damn well. Good job of it, man. Uh, I will see you guys uh, at the start of next year. So this is going to be the team going on into season number two. I feel pretty confident about this team. Uh, we do have Michael Mayer and Quentin Johnson starting. Uh, Michael Mayer is going to be the starting fullback though for us. He's going to be backing up Evan Ingram there, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I respect that. I respect that. Like Christian Kirk going to be the starting number one though on the side and hopefully he can still continue to progress hopefully he can be like a superstar by the end of this rebuild man that will kind of help us out going on into i'm not gonna go on after year three but you guys get the point it's gonna help up the team he's gonna help out the team man because they're a team um so offense looks pretty much the same with the addition of uh, zion nelson on the offensive line uh, on the defensive side of things you have pretty much the same i ended up picking up chuck clark in free agency because he was just sitting there and i might as well if i'm going to sign him he's going to be here for the entire season so he's going to start for us there uh jenkins i might have to let him go because that is some extra salary cap money that we can have to use um i don't think he's going to be here long term is he i think i don't have to resign him if i don't have to that is a 10 mil contract i'm about to release if you ask me uh, I didn't really see that. I didn't even notice that. Uh, but our team is still looking roughly the same when it comes to the defensive side of things. But Willis is going to be starting. I know you guys noticed Kenny Moore here. Um, I was actually talking about it like, oh, I traded Kenny Moore for Shaquille Griffin, yada, yada, yada. And then I noticed I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I ended up trading Shaquille Griffin for Kenny Moore, kind of like a straight player swap uh and a uh, fifth round pick i kind of see sad came where he is a one-year rental but i do plan on resigning him with the cap that we're gonna have darren williams uh hopefully you are able to continue to be good and be that star that you are our kicking is gonna be well we have zane gonzalez there now we don't have that uh elliot fry no more but cook is still here agnew still the return man special is gonna be the same thing from last year but this time you're gonna have kenny moore in the slot cornerback position and quentin johnson backing up um christian kirk in the slot position there uh we're pretty much the same when it comes to rushing the ball and defense on rushing the ball on defense as well um let me go ahead and release jenkins or let me see what i can do with this contract uh but other than that i will be right back at the end of the season if unless i make a trade with uh, jenkins but we'll see so we are coming up to the end of season number two hopefully this season we actually make the playoffs with the current team that we have i know our line isn't the greatest okay oh you know what dang the colts are four and 13 with the rushing attack that they have wow the texans are one and 16 wow they our division struggled this year so i'm pretty much pretty sure that we ended up winning the games the fact that the um cincinnati Bengals are 13 and 4 and they are not number one in the division and we have to play them <laughs> is beyond me ridiculous um so we're gonna have to this is gonna have to be like a uh, like a sneaky win for us or something like that as the baltimore ravens ended up taking the first seed in the division we are number four uh, so that means all of the other teams did better than us which is mad scary because every team is 13 or 12 and 5 and better and that is one thing i don't want to see so trevor lawrence actually finished second in passing yards does that to me our team was elite over the through the air okay so Trevor Lawrence finished with almost 5,000 yards passing, which is actually pretty cool. 39 touchdowns, seven interceptions. He had a completion percentage of 69%, which is actually pretty good. I, I rate that. We had a thousand yard back in Travis Etienne again with 11 touchdowns. That's pretty good, actually. Travis Etienne kind of proving his worth. Uh, I know he was injured in the first year in real life because he like tore his ACL. Don't quote me on that. Something like that. Christian Kirk finished with 1,500 yards receiving. That is elite. That's elite status, if you ask me. And Ingram finished with 1,200 yards receiving. So we had 14 touchdowns here. We had seven here. Um, Quentin Johnson finished with 10 receiving touchdowns. It's actually pretty good because he was our second uh, 
he was our second wide receiver 67 catches almost 800 yards receiving um donovan people's jones proving his worth proving the amount that he's worth when i signed him in the offseason on the defensive side of things we had three people over 100 000. damn kenny moore is like you better resign me buddy <laughs> oh my goodness you know what Kenny Moore, you're worth a resign. You're worth a resign. Uh, Ola Dokin had 126. Lowell had 119. Uh, Darius Williams was actually at 98. And Chuck Clark is proving that we should resign him as well. Um, on the sack side of things, I guess we kind of spread it out throughout the whole team then because uh, uh, Clayvon Chason has seven and a half. Josh Allen had seven, which is kind of weird because I expected him to have more than that. Trayvon Walker ended up finishing with five, which is kind of down from what he had last year. Hopefully our defense passing. Okay, Oladokun had a five, Darius Williams had two. Uh, we had one from Kenny Fenton and Jaquan Brisker on that end. So we finished eighth in offensive yards. And for defense, what are we at? 19th, ooh, we're not great on defense. We are not great. We didn't have a lot of turnovers. I bet you we weren't ranked high when it came to turnovers here. If you guys wanted to see who was the top performers. So here we go. Rushing. There you go. So two of the backs in our division actually finished top. It's just they couldn't win ball games in that kind of sense. Christian Kirk finished third in receiving, which is cool. TJ finished with 24 sacks. He can't even do that in my regular Steelers. Uh, franchise. What the hell? What the hell? Um, Tredavy Swipe, Trayvon Diggs, Devin White, and interception. CJ Mosley with tackles there. Okay. We already checked the bracket since we did make the playoff. Let's go ahead and do the weekly strategy here. Honestly, we have a deep, deep road to go. We have to defend Joe Burrow. That is no easy feat whatsoever. And I'm just gonna make sure we win this game. Um, I don't believe we can. This team is way too talented. Um, 85, 87, 85, but we are 80s across the we have potential uh we have potential i know our rating kind of takes a dip with the players that we have backing up other players uh if that makes any sense uh let's go ahead and upgrade our players here see if that can make a difference whatsoever uh there we did that um what is another thing that we have to do before we get started i also have to put in our points to our staff i guess it can help us out i mean we made it this far but if we have we have a long way to go um all of the teams are going to win games and if we have to beat them to be able to advance the Ravens. We, if we could stop the run, I think we can make it past the Ravens. We have a great um, um, interior core or interior core um, core of players when it comes to like the, the front seven uh, to be able to stop the run game, I believe anyway, um, when it comes to playing the Ravens, the Chiefs have a passing attack. Uh, we have a lot of depth when it comes to the cornerback position. Um, and as well as the Bengals do also have a passing attack and the Bills have a passing attack. That's how we kind of built on death when it comes to that area. Um, but at the same time, you're going up against a, what, 99, at this point, 99 rated Josh Allen, 97 rated Joe Burrow. And it's, uh, that's, 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 that's just tough in itself, honestly. Um, those points I will save for the off season we're going into the draft. I invested everything in these guys, so hopefully they can help us pull it out. If not, we still have one more year to be able to make it through. Now, Jacksonville Jaguars against the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't believe we can win this game, uh, but I've seen I've seen crazy. I've seen crazy. This can either be a blow. Uh, we ended up losing by seven. We lost by seven. Okay. Dang. That's tough. That is tough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sim to the Super Bowl here, and we can just see who ended up winning what award. And I will upgrade my players later on. Um, but dang, dude, again, we came another step closer, and it's just like we can't make it out the first round. We barely made it in this time, uh, but we couldn't make it. The Ravens ended up making the Super Bowl this time. Hmm. So the, none of the teams that played us ended up making it to the Super Bowl, thankfully. Hmm go ahead and send this as the ravens ended up pulling it out this year so let's go to head to the season recap before i leave you guys and go on into free agency the baltimore ravens ended up winning the super bowl uh jalen carter defensive rookie of the year offensive rookie of the year would be bryce young uh miles garrett uh dpoy ezekiel elliott uh offensive player of the year doug peterson coach of the year for us man it's actually pretty good we got we had the coach to, to prove it nfl mvp we had patrick mahomes so i'll see you guys at the end of the free agency period going on into the draft honestly i'm gonna cut you guys some slack we didn't have any money whatsoever <laughs> we didn't have any money whatsoever to be able to be able to sign anybody because all of the players that we had i ended up re-signing um and we just didn't have any money as you guys see we had 230k 
Uh, we re-signed like Chuck Clark, we signed our linemen. Uh, we re-signed a bunch of people to be able to help us out. I kind of already didn't have an idea of who I want to draft or might as well just swap out those picks. I also had to re-sign Kenny Moore to the squad because he, he is a 90 overall. Um, with this pick, if I can have somebody that can... Okay, we currently hold six. We currently hold six. All right, that's pretty good. Um, I'm not too... Um, Okay, let me let me let me see our salary situation because I kind of have to look at who I'm gonna get rid of to be able to resign some players or not be able to resign some players, but be able to get rid of high end talent. Uh, if that makes any sense. So we have uh, Cam Robinson. You are a 76 overall. If we trade you away, that is 17 mil that I can just use on a better tackle. If that makes any sense. Um, and uh, Kason also, I can get rid of him. Uh, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of Kason as well. Um, yeah, we need more money, and that probably wasn't the move. If I got rid of some other people, I could have been able to sign others on the team. I could probably pick up some free agents that were just left uh, out to dry. Um, Sheriff, no. So Cam Robinson, you have to go. We need a tackle, and you are not it. You are not it. I can swap you out with any, probably any left tackle in the game um, to be able to block better for trevor lawrence so we can actually win ball games and go deeper into the playoffs buccaneers i can probably have tristan wars right yeah i can i can no all that all that money it's not gonna work out for us chargers i know you guys have um what's his name slater that is a big jump that is a big jump um can i get rid of 24 for him I know he is a, you know, I'll take that. I'll take Rashawn Slater. Welcome to the squad. Um, the other guy I have to get rid of here would be uh, Kaysan. He escaped. He said, you are not trading me, buddy. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Where you at? Here you are. Get rid of another player to be able to make some more cap. I should have did this before I resigned players, honestly. Um, any room from any team that I could just swap you to, to help us out? Anyway, okay. Um, commanders, commanders. Who do you have? Terry McLaurin would be cool. We have edge rushers though. We don't need Chase Young. Cornerback, uh, strong safety. We're dude, we're good. We just can't win ball games, man. When it comes to being in the playoffs, that's the only difference. That's the only difference. Like we need a free safety. Uh, we need a center. Um, is our defense good enough to win games? If anything, I just pick up a center, and we have no issue there. Um, if we can, if I could find a team that I could pick up two high end pieces from. I think we'll be set. Chase on who? Lions. Lions can be okay. Hold on. Ragnar will be good, and then uh, somebody that I can. Miles Murphy, because we do need a right end, right? We do. We do also need a free safety. Tracy Walker. No, you're not. You're not like elite, elite, elite. Akuda would be cool. Murphy off the edge. I know he's a rookie though, so that's gonna be hard to even try to pick up. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson. That that would be great. Is this worth a four fourteenth for next year? I'll take it. 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 Yo, that won't ever happen in real life. But the fact that I just did that for Kason, perfect, perfect. Um now you know what what else can we get rid of what else what else who who else wants to go bye bye uh savings sheriff 88 if i can get rid of you for two pieces on the offensive line i think we can make this work got rid of two picks for one of the best safeties in the league i'm gonna move him to free um you can play that free safety role for us lengthy you are gonna swap out for that guard like sheriff did zion johnson you are gonna move over to the center position that's what i'm gonna do because that six pick is not gonna work out for us we need something to help us out going on into the ne this next year and that is the move honestly that is the move can i get rid of um maybe one more piece one more piece one more piece one more piece maybe like a dude agent Hutch oh my god i forgot we have aiden hutchinson what's going on <laughs> okay we have no picks i'm gonna be honest we have no picks uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the end of the draft here and i'll see you guys at the start of the season uh because i'm gonna try to make some more trades going on from there sorry this draft was not even worth uh anything because we didn't draft anybody here um i'm gonna go to the end of the draft i'll see you guys at the start of the season when i start making some more trades so i ended up trading for another corner that's a little bit on the higher end to help us out because i have another 80 
and the 80 is just not going to work out for us. We need another corner that's kind of up there. Uh, Greg Newsom is one of those corners that I was able to use a second, a third, and a third for. I didn't want to give up the first round pick that we had. I know I'm kind of giving up a lot at the moment, but we're kind of in win now mode. And Greg Newsom, uh, you're there. We have Brisker at the strong, and then we have uh, Chuck Clark backing up these safety positions. Um, our interior looks actually pretty good. I like how our interior looks. The one thing we have to adjust is getting another target uh, for Trevor Lawrence. We have two receivers and we need one more. And as you guys can see, we're kind of running out of options here. So I'm gonna use this first in a second. If I could just throw that in, just snag like a like a high-end receiver, not like a Cooper Cut. Tyler Boyd, welcome to the squad. Let me adjust the squad one last time before we go on into the season and I'll show you guys what we're rocking with and then we'll go from there, all right? But one last trade, we traded away Donovan Peoples-Jones and our one of the random ass picks that we got uh, during one of the drafts and a fourth for Christian Wilkins that kind of fills up that other bronze slot uh, that's kind of on our defensive line that was like a 72. I'll take that any day because we just picked a T Higgins. We have Christian Kirk and we have Quentin Johnson so we don't need a receiver and our line is already elite and we have backups for the line so we don't need Kirkland either. Welcome to the squad Christian Wilkins. So here we are going into year three. Let me tell you we looking mad nice. Man, if we don't win it this year, I don't know what to tell you guys. So we have Tyler Boyd, who is an X factor that I traded for. Our our line, look at our line. I have all of them backing each other up just to give us some more some more boost when it comes to overall. We have Angan, Evan Ingram and Michael Mayer backing uh, Evan Ingram up when it comes to the tight end position. Uh, I was about to say Michael Mayer is still our fullback. Christian Kirk is a superstar. Quentin Johnson is the third string wide receiver with Zay Jones backing him up. Travis Etienne is still our starting running back. We have uh, Derwin James Jr. at the free safety position. Uh, Fenton backing up. So what I did basically is everybody who's just uh, the highest rated overall when it comes to backing them up, I put them there that's what i did so our linebacking core is still roughly the same i moved aiden hutchison down to the left end position because he is an 87 rated as you can see christian wilkins in 81 on the right end position padu saki still here defensive tackle uh with christian wilkins backing up just in case he gets tired man just in case he gets tired we have greg newsom an 85 rated cornerback on this team he's going to be the second cornerback next to kenny moore on that side we have jaquan brisker still here with uh chuck clark backing him up special teams the same old same old same old same old um, now the specialists, we have Kenny Moore in the slot. We have Josh Allen running, rushing from the left. Uh, Fadusaki on in the middle with Christian Wilkins. Uh, we have on the right hand position, we have Aiden Hutchinson, but we have uh, Trayvon Walker backing them up respectfully. I know Aiden Hutchinson's also on the right hand side too. Um, but I mean, if he could play those positions, he will. You know what? If he gets tired, there you go. Um, we have Oladokin in the middle linebacker position with uh, Chuck Clark as the backup and Devin Lloyd there as well. The slots, we have Christian Kirk. I put him there because he's faster than Tyler Boyd. So might as well just let it fly and have him there. Anyway, we are pretty set. And I will see you guys at the end of the regular season. To the end of season number three. And then I expect nothing but the first... Did we get a buy? Yes, we did. We ended up getting a buy. Look at our team. 87 across the board. 87 rated offense, 87 rated defense, and 87 rated overall. Um, that was good enough for first in the... Hey, look at all our team. Look at all the players that need upgrades. They're all 89 pluses, dude. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. A bit of, who's ability? Evan Ingram, Michael May. Did they go up to... No, I hope they're I think they're still superstar if anything um but yeah we are first in the division we the a Tyler Boyd less Bengals that was almost hard enough that was almost hard to say fast ours right, the second seed uh and we had the Buffalo Bills and so the AFC North is well represented here um uh, AFC West is here and the AFC East and the AFC North because they ended up winning them on that side I'm pretty confident we have a great team and I feel like we should win some ball games. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into next week and let's see who we face next week, man. I'm excited, I'm excited. We went all in, we call us the Rams. We are the Los Angeles, dude, we are the better team. 89 rated offense, 88 rated defense, 88 rated overall, we went up. We went up. Playoff rivals, bro. Bro, let me tell you something. Oh, we're going up against James Robinson, did you guys see that? <laughs> uh, hitting power. Play recognition. Oh, we are gonna recognize the hell out of the ball and fly all over the place. Yep. All teams will have plus five player. Wow. That is some dumb stuff. That's some dumb. We don't need to scout no college players because we all in. We all in, baby. We win ball games out here. Who's your guys' quarterback? Who do we have to worry about? <laughs> hell no. Oh, I am not worried about this team, dude. We should not. He's doo doo. He's doo-doo. Nah, if we lose, I'm gonna be upset. Nah, if we lose, that's just Madden simulation. 
uh Derek Stingley Jr. is here. Uh, yeah, let's go deep. We go deep ball on them. My, Michael Mayer. That's kind of a Mayer Meyer? Meyer? I don't know how to say that now. I just say Mayer. He is a superstar still, but he has unlocked abilities, which is actually pretty cool for us. We win this game 100% of the time, don't we? Do we? I, do we have to, right? Like I've never been so like nervous, but I'm not nervous. You know what I mean? Like I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous at the same time. Like I feel good, but I feel not good at the same time. But I'm more on the good side if that makes any sense. Um, we are way, way, way better than this team, dude. Um, Madden Simulation will be getting the best of you too. But let's go ahead and check the bracket. I'm gonna give you guys on your toes. But I gotta check the stats. Nah, nah, I gotta check stats now. I gotta check stats now. Completely forgot. I wanted to send to this point before I check the stats. So we're going up against six. They beat the Bills great. The Bengals and the Chiefs are at the bottom. That team, those right there, are gonna be the issue. Those are gonna be the one team. So let's go ahead and check the stats for the season. So Trevor Lawrence finished 15th in passing yards with 33 touchdowns, nine interceptions. I mean, that is pretty good because he is getting better. He is uh, with the 72% completion percentage. 4,500 yards passing. We did have a thousand yard back in Travis Etienne with 1,300 yards rushing, 16 touchdowns, 16. Um, receiving, we had 3,000 yard receivers. Three, three. Evan Ingram again, um, and Christian Kirk again. He did it again. Both of them did it again. Um, did did Evan Ingram go up to a, a X Factor? Oh, I would have loved it if it went up to an X Factor. Uh, 12 touchdowns for Christian Kirk. Tyler Boyd, great pickup, great pickup. Helped us out a lot. Quentin Johnson finished with seven there. I didn't go to the defense. Let me go to the defense. Damn, damn, I'm excited. I'm excited. Kenny Moore, a cornerback, finished with more tackles than everybody here. It makes sense because I feel like when your team is elite, you're flying. Everybody's flying to the ball and everybody makes tackles. Um, so Josh Allen finished with 11 and a half. Aiden Hutchinson finished with 10 and a half. Christian Wilkins, nine and a half. Fadu Saki. Oh man, Trayvon, I'm sorry, but this is the business and we in the business of winning. Uh, Jaquan Brisker finished with three interceptions. Darius Williams finished with three. Kenny Moore with two. Clark with two. Aladokin with two. And Greg Newsom with two. Uh, we are the ninth rated offense with the uh, seventh rated defense in yards. There's one thing I want to do. Do you guys reckon I should go into the games and start simming them from there? Does that make sense? Does, does that make sense? Should I should I do that? Let me see if I could do that. Is that? I'm gonna think about it. Let me see. Let me jump in. So we are in the sim. I'm gonna skip pretty much everything. I'm not gonna give my I'm not gonna give myself the ability to jump in. So skip, skip. Okay, skip again. Skip. Two to three. What is this, Bruh. Can we score? This actually gives me. What are we doing? Why is it three to five? Three to. What is this game? There's no way. Okay, okay, we scored. Great, great, great. Can we score again? Nah, nah, this is gonna give me anxiety. This is gonna give me mad anxiety. Oh my goodness. Okay, do not score. Can we hold? Can we hold? Hold for people. Hold for. Oh my goodness. Drive. Right, give me a touchdown. Give me. Okay, I'll take a field goal. Down, baby. Let's go. No, come on. Take a knee. <laughs> that gives me anxiety. We should do that more often. I never thought about that until that very moment, but we should do that. <laughs> That's going to give us hella anxiety if we have games like that. But we ended up taking the win. And actually, I can actually go over the stats for the games too. And there ain't nobody care about that. That was scary. That was scary. My heart is racing. So Trevor Lawrence finished at 250 yards passing through the air, a 60% completion percentage, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Great. Uh, 90 yards rushing for Travis Etienne in this game. And then we had no 100 yard receiver, which kind of sucks. But Tyler Boyd is kind of up there. Defensive side of things, sacks kind of matters to me. The Josh Allen finished with three. So total tackles, just the three top ones. So Greg Newsom, Josh Allen and more. Any interceptions in this game? No. Okay, great. I'm gonna do that again with the next team that we play. That is, ooh, get the blood going. We got the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, let's go. We have another team we gotta face. Come on, Jags. Come on, Jags. Let's get this, baby. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. All right, let's keep. Let's, all right, let's go. Sim. Okay, go. Go. Go again. Give me a touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, come on. Yes. Let's go. Give me a stop. Give me a stop. Big time top. Field goal. Field goal. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, team. 
Give it in. Punch it in. Let's go. We punch it in. Dude, come on. No. Punch it in, team. Punch it in. Punch it in. Come on. I believe. Let's go. We punch it in again. Get, get, get it. Stop. Bruh, come on. Are we driving again. Or we got it. Get, come on. See, let's go, team. Let's drive. Come on. Punch it in. Punch it in. Let's go. Come on. Give me stop. Your defense needs help. No, we don't. Okay. Come on. Okay. <gasps> OT, OT, ain't much level. We go to OT, baby. We won. Let's go! We're in the Super Bowl, baby. Let's let go. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. What just happened? I oh, do I have red. I'm red as hell. This boy dirty as hell too. Yo, we, we're doing that more often. We're doing that more often when we make it to the playoffs. Yo, that was. <laughs> Yo. All right, all right. Fuck, we're in the Super Bowl again. So 406 passing yards for Trevor Lawrence. This boy was lighting it up, man. That's crazy. Six touchdowns, two interceptions. We came back. Um. Okay. And Travis Etienne finished with 77 rushing yards. That's cool. 200 yard receivers in Emory Ingram and Tyler Boyd. And Christian Kirk had 96. We almost had three receivers at 100. All right, let's go to defense. I think Greg Newsome got the game winning interception for us. I think I have to check. We have to check it right now. So seven tackles for Brisker, uh, seven for Chuck Clark, and seven for Oladokin. Um, sacks on the game. We had two from Aiden Hutchinson and one from Josh Allen. And interceptions, we had one from Newsome and one from Oladokin. View highlights. View highlights. What happened in overtime? Trevor Lawrence sacked. Interception for 69 yards. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, we in the Super Bowl, baby. I'm excited. I don't, it's late at night and I don't, I, if I'm yelling, I'm sorry, but I'm excited as hell. So here we are, guys, at the Super Bowl. You know, I just noticed that we're the Super Bowl is in Arlington, Texas, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. So now the Dallas Cowboys have a home in the Super Bowl. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Now we're having a play. Oh, I mean, we are the away team in that kind of sense. But the Dallas Cowboys now essentially have a home game in the Super Bowl. Um, as you guys can see, they still go through the damn Gatorade, kind of like Maddie. Come on, dude, fix your game. Um, so let me give you guys a summary of what's going on so far. So we pretty much built this team uh, through the draft for the first two seasons, um, season and a half. And then when we ended up going into the draft, we ended up utilizing all the picks that we acquired uh, throughout the season, uh, before the season, at the end of the season, and so forth and so on from like the beginning of year one to the end of year two. And at the end, we just said, YOLO, screw it. Uh, I made some cuts in between there with players that we had um, to save us some money. It's a good thing I was paying attention to that. It's because it saved us some salary cap and we were able to use our picks to um, trade away for bigger names with enough, like not so much of a cap hit to help us out, to help us out. I have no idea what I just said makes sense, <laughs> but we moved as we are here on defense. Oh, break that up. Against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Man, dude, they kind of drove down the field. Now we have to essentially make a stop here. I'm bringing the heat. There's no way you guys don't run it here on second and inches. I'm guessing run. You guys are... Okay, as you just shoot, the person just decided to stand there and not want to go on a run commit. <laughs> so it is first and goal. I'm pretty much going to bring it here. I'm basically going to test all of our corners here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, not, I'm here. Nope, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Good. Let's go, D. Shut that boy Ezekiel Elliott out. Shut him out. Who's number 99? Big number 99. You're him. Oh, that's um Christian Wilkins. Good stuff, Wilkins. I'm going to utilize uh, Derwin James here. Because if they run, I'm going to be the run support safety. Because he is a strong safety that is utilized in run support. I'm here. I'm here. I'm in the back of the end zone. Don't let him. Dude, there is so much space there. They weren't able to close out on that? Come on. You guys, you guys can't be serious. <laughs> you guys cannot be serious with that. Our team is way too talented to give up plays like that, per se. Is we gonna snap it? Come on. There's no way. Fourth and three, we go for this, right? I'm not gonna kick a 57 yard field goal with the kicker that I 
haven't even seen kick a damn field goal um, in our simulations. This is pretty much going to be either Christian Kirk or Buzz for us. Good ball, dude. I always back shoulder those in cuts right there because they just can't defend them. Is number 94 Cameron Hayward? He wears the exact same thing Cameron Hayward would wear. So not only do we have to deal with Mika Parsons coming off the edge, we have to deal with Cameron Hayward in the middle. Wow, okay. I'm gonna run the ball here. Come on, ETN. Get to the edge, ETN. Let's go, ETN. Let's go. I'm gonna be a little bit more patient. I don't wanna take shots that are unnecessary because I do be making some weird ass reads and throwing interceptions. I do plan on not throwing an interception in this video. He says before he throws an interception. <laughs> I know you guys hate me for that. Because I'd be taking my Steelers franchise way too seriously. I come to franchise mode. It's like one of those modes where I can actually let up in. And I just throw interceptions for no reason. You guys brought the safety. That's going to be a safety blitz. I'm going to be able to get right behind that and get a tutty here. Touchdown. Touchdown for my boy Evan Ingram who's been here pretty much all three seasons. Thank goodness we resigned that man because we needed you. And we needed you there. Alright, cool. So third and six. I'm actually going to... Contain these flats because I don't want these flats to be a, a big nuisance because a lot of the teams be running the same thing play and it stresses me out and I want our team to be able to defend that. All right, Chuck Clark. It's a good thing I re-signed you at the end of year two. Oh, here I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Intercept no. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. That scared me. That scared me. That scared me because I wanted the cornerback to be able to draw back and intercept that, but I switched to the safety, which is weird. Usually when I said that wording right there, that's usually a fake. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for fake here. Hopefully we can stop this. Derwin James. Derwin James, come on. I signed you. This better not be no run. Okay. Throw it. Oh. Oh the token. Just pick your touchdown. Like, dude. Why do you put your hand up? I didn't, I didn't, honestly, I didn't know how far that guy can throw it. I don't know how far punters throw it because I've never seen that happen before. That's probably the first time I've ever encountered a fake punt. I always encounter fake field goals, but I've never seen a fake punt before. All right, let's be, let's be smart. Based on screen, try to make some reads, make some throws over the middle, and win this freaking ball game, dude. Good ball, Trevor. Let's go, dude. That came out hot. Oh, and spicy. I felt it. I, you feel you coming up on me here. It's like, I love it. Great throw, great throw, great throw. Okay, we don't always have to pass the ball, though. We don't always have to pass the ball. We have possession. It is control plus time. Okay, come on. Hey, Zion, I know I traded for you. Um, But there's this one thing that you can do. It's called block. <laughs> and not cut a field and not block like that. Mika Parsons is going to be the issue this whole game. But I got to get this ball out quick. Right here. Boom. Wait, why for Evan Ingram? Come on, bro. Come on. You've been here all three seasons, and I need you to show up here in the Super Bowl. This is your time to shine. Because I know in real life, they were bagging that contract you got. And it's now your time to show them, hey, that contract was legitness. As the guy we traded for, Tyler Boyd, ends up getting the touchdown. <laughs> After I just said all that about Evan Ingram. I am so sorry. As we are on defense on a second and six situation inside the red zone, I'm gonna go ahead and press here. If they run, I'm gonna come in with Devin Lord. Oh, that's a screen, that's a screen, that's a screen, that's a screen, that's a screen. Stop him, stop him. That's cold. You're lucky I was the middle linebacker, because that would have been taken for six. The way the, the line came out there, that was that was a six. Usually the line kind of lags a little bit. That time they didn't lag so much. Come on. One more, one more, one more stand. One more stand. If we can hold them to field goal, I'll be happy. Come on. That's out of bounds. Okay, good. I'm about to say, boy, if you get a toe tap, miracle toe tap, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, I'm going to come in. Come on, Brisker. Come on, Brisker. I got this right here. Mm, 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 mm. No. Oh. Show me the square button. It means it was a slow-mo. That was a block attempt. Oh, whoever number 64 is, you just saved your kicker's ass. That was coming in hot. Come on, Trevor. Give me an opportunity to show off what you can do when it comes to throwing the ball. This is the first time I've used Trevor and Madden ever. Like, I don't use the Jaguars at all. Maybe, you know what, I lied. I used to do rebuilds on the Jags, so never mind. I lied about that. But I don't think I've ever, like, utilized him, utilized him. Oh, he's coming off the edge quickly. I had to dump that. Wingard, you are not him. That's why I traded you. Oh, mean. I don't have to be a meanie about being like that. 
Christian Kirk, you've been here all three seasons. My goal is to try to get your touchdown if I can. Uh, this is second and four, though. I'm going to try to get a run in here. Oh, oh, ETN, punch it in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Travis ETN. Let's go. After suffering that injury his rookie year, he's coming out and putting on a show. This is going to be a shootout in the Super Bowl. Wow, I just noticed that. Tyler Boyd? I'm going to take a shot with you if you're open. Oh, he threw him off. He threw him off. Go, go, go. Oh, I know you weren't fast enough to beat that guy because the way he was coming. That honestly should have been a tip ball. That should have been a tip ball. I'm going to slow it down here because I don't want the Cowboys to get it. If I can punch it in, that would be great. <clears throat> Etienne, can you do me a favor and move to the... Yeah, move that side. Okay, this looks promising. Not really, but whatever. Throw it away. I'll take the penalty. Who cares? Yolo. <laughs> Dude, Nika comes off so fast. Yo. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. I'm trying to throw the ball. Have some fun. He said, hell no. No fun here. Dude, can we double team that man? We have a great team. Why is why is our line struggling to block this dude? And Demarcus Lawrence out the other side too. Oh my god, I just realized how much of a threat this team really is. That's intercepted. That's not where I wanted the ball. He better not return it to the house on me. <clears throat> I wanted a toe tap, and that's not where I wanted the ball. Now I have to play defense going into the second half. Dude. I, that's why I never run that play in Madden. That play is the dumbest play, uh, especially the, with whatever defense they run. That, that play is like the dumbest play ever. Can I get a sack? Newsome? I hate this game sometimes. Come on. Come here. Dude, I'm laying the boom if you decide to run that. Hell no. Alright, come on. Third and goal. I'm sorry, I threw another interception, but that was warranted though. Like I was actually serious about that throw. I was in a I'm gonna make a dumb read here and make a dumb throw. Kenny Moore, great pickup, great pick. Good defensive stand, bro. Let's go. We're gonna go into the half 2020. 2120, I'm sorry. <laughs> one of these days, one of these rebuilds, I will not throw an interception. I'm gonna repeat that to the day it does not happen. One of these days, I will not throw an interception in a rebuilding video. That's just me having way too much fun with my team and just taking shots. Unnecessary shots. It is second and six. Uh, we do need to, they are showing blitz. I could try to potentially get off a quick pass here. Good shot, good shot. That's that's good. I wanted high pointed so the linebacker wouldn't be able to get it. Great ball placement by Trevor Lawrence. That's what a uh, what are you like an 84 rated now? That's what an 84 can do for you. Hopefully I can get this to the rookie. Push him off. The rookie Michael Mayer that we drafted in year one comes out, shows out, shows his worth. That's why two of my tight ends are superstars. Let's go. He ends up punching it in as we are up 28 to 20. Um, I'm also trying to be quiet because I know my neighbors are asleep and they ain't going to get mad at me. I'm going to get a noise complaint. Alright, as we weren't able to stop that whatsoever. Dude, Aiden Hutchinson is a big dude. Yo, pause. What? Alright. Show me. Show me screen. Show me screen. It's going to be house call. Honestly. This is screen. I feel screen. I read screen. No, it's not screen. Okay. I'm here. I'm here though. I'm here, sack. Good hit. Good hit. Trayvon Walker, number 44, taking Aiden Hutchinson's number. Should realistically be Aiden Hutchinson because Aiden Hutchinson is a higher overall. Um, I'm going to hit something over the middle. 28 20. This is going to be a high scoring Super Bowl. I'm going to be honest. Um, it is third and 10. I do have to convert here. Throw it. Big ball. Let's go. Let's go, Evan Ingram. Let's go. Keep pushing the ball downfield. Three touchdowns, one interception so far for Trevor Lawrence. And we continue pushing the ball down the field. First and goal. No need to force anything in the end zone. If we could run it, we run it here. Um, I already made the mistake of throwing an interception. And I punch it in with ETN again. Let's go. Easy. Dude, when your line is this great, punch it in easy. Okay, and they can punch it in very easy as well. Uh, this is another close game because I know... Um, 
Hold on, one second. I know within a Texans rebuild, we ended up facing the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, didn't we? It was a CD Lamb uh, game winner. It was a CD Lamb game winner. No, it was with the Giants. No, I wasn't with the Giants. Dang, I can't remember now. I usually record these videos like one week apart, and I always forget like what team was in the Super Bowl. I can tell you we made it to the Super Bowl with every team so far. Wait, ooh, I wanted to test that. I was testing that. I know it was third and one, so I'm going to run it here now. I'm going to be smart with it. I wanted to test that. See where our, uh, what is he, second year pro now? Um, can do against uh, Trayvon Diggs. No way. I should have cut inside. Is that, who is number 94? If I kick a field goal, we're up by a touchdown. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take a field goal here in this situation. It's something I wouldn't do, but we are in the Super Bowl. And we are trying to win this. Okay, there's our signing, Gonzalez, making his money right there. I don't know who Barnett is, but okay. Yeah, we got, we went up by a touchdown. Now all we have to do here is hold the ball and we win. Hold the ball and we win the Super Bowl. And I'm not going to take an unnecessary shot for no reason. I know I've been doing that. Oh, cut up. No, cut up. Oh, no, no. Okay, don't fumble, please. I know when they hold you up like that, there's a really, really good chance that you can fumble the ball. One of them comes and punches it out. Second and six, uh, three minutes left. We gotta utilize the time correctly. I'm not, but oh, get off of me! Oh, that is not Cameron Hayward. That is some random auto-generated guy that they drafted. It looks like we've got a All right, Christian Kirk. The way they are lined up here shows that I can pass his ball no problem. Inside, great ball, great ball, great ball placement. Third and seven. That was a weird formation. I've never seen that. The linebacker was standing up as well as the corner. No, but Demarcus Lawrence was standing up on that play. It doesn't make any sense. Who do I want to run towards? That's Demarcus Lawrence or Mika Parsons? That's, that's a real question. I'm going to cut a field. I wasn't going to run all the way to the edge and have Martinez. That is uh, Blake Martinez, right? Didn't he play for the Giants at one point? If that's who I think it is, then I know he's not like the fastest guy in the world. Um, a minute 56 to go. They did call a timeout. They burned a timeout. Now, all we have to do is pretty much get the first, and it's over. I gotta switch to conservative, because I don't need any of these juky nonsense. Switching adjustments, ball carrier, conservative. I don't want you to fumble. Um, I want to have Trevor Lawrence attempt that, but no. But if they st okay, they're not even stacking the box on a 31 situation. Uh, I mean, I can easily take the Super Bowl here. Yeah, easy. Nothing too crazy. Just take a couple of these and win this game, baby. Ha! And I'm going to take a shot <laughs> with our last fourth down. Take a knee. Trevor Lawrence, the six foot six out of Clemson, finally will probably, most likely, if I don't throw an interception in the end zone on our last play, win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Let it tick down. So this will be garbage time. So Tom, how's your guys' day going? The day's going great. Just got out of work. I was like, let me record my rebuilding video. Like I said, the Jaguars are two and five. While I'm recording this, I know uh, they play in London. Uh, well, tomorrow, which is today, because it's already 12 o'clock. So they do play in London against the Denver Broncos. Um, that one, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the Jaguars were pretty good in the beginning of the season. Um, they're kind of like slowly declining, but again, they're playing the Broncos, and the Broncos really haven't been it either. Um, they paid that boy. Russell Wilson, all that money, and not do anything. It just doesn't make any sense. I didn't step out of bounds. What the heck? Did I? I think I did. I'm going to run four words on this, on this team right now in a second. As we are going to win this Super Bowl. Um, You know what? I expected our defense to do a lot better than what we did. But then again, against the Bengals, we gave up a lot of points. And it was a close one too against the um, against the Texans as well. Um, right. You guys know I have to end the video with taking a shot in the back of the end zone. Mika Parsons will probably ruin all of this for me. Go to that side. YOLO! Down! Down! Dropping back to pass. Trevor Lawrence dropping down over the middle. Takes a shot! Christian Kirk! 
That is no fun. I wanted at least somebody to have hands on it. <laughs> we did it. We moved to 4-0 in Madden 2023 when it comes to rebuilds. And, um, yeah, we, we ended up pulling it out, man. I don't want to have to show you guys the celebration every time it happens because it's going to happen a lot. Uh, ain't nobody care about the Cowboys. So, uh, Trevor Lawrence finished 27 for 34 on the season, on the season, in the game. 351 yards passing, 79% completion percentage, um, three passing touchdowns with one interception. Uh, rushing, we had Travis Etienne with 139 on the day. On the day! Uh, 139. Um, Evan Ingram had 108 receiving yards. Tyler Boyd had a 120. Christian Kirk didn't really put out much here, uh, but Evan Ingram, he's been the star. He's going to continue to be the star. Uh, and he showed out in this game. Um, when it came to tackles, we had Rashawn Fenton at 8, Derwin James at 7, and Brisker at 6. When it comes to sacking the QB, we didn't get any sacks whatsoever. And we didn't uh, return any or have any interceptions as well. So it was a pretty clean game from Dak Prescott. We just ended up putting up more points on the board. All right, guys, here we are with the end of season recap for year number three. As you guys can already tell, <laughs> we ended up winning the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we ended up beating the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas's home stadium too. Uh, 38-230. Uh, we are the one-time Super Bowl champion Jacksonville Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence being the Super Bowl MVP. As you take a look at the yearly awards on the right-hand side here, you're going to see that Joe Burrow was NFL MVP. But hey, hey, our coach, our coach. Coach of the year, baby. Let's get it. Uh, Cooper Cup, of course, 99 rated, 98 rated, 99 rated, one of the two. He's going to always get it the majority of the time anyway. Offensive player of the year. And same thing with Aaron Donald. He's a beast. Uh, defensive player of the year for the Rams. Uh, Ronald Bass, QB for the Bears. Which kind of puts the question, what happened to Justin Fields? Is he a rookie? Did you guys let him go? Is he behind this man? W what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? As Will Jenkins from the Rams get ended up getting a uh, defensive rookie of the year. Which also is kind of weird because three out of the six awards went to Rams players. <laughs> Anyway, uh, as you guys can see here, our team was 91 rated offense, 90 rated defense, 90 rated overall. This team was a lot of fun to build, mainly because those first two years, they didn't have any salary caps to work with. We basically had to rebuild through the draft and not be able to sign top end talent. Uh, we kind of had to sign like people in the 70s, which was a lot of fun to do because this was one of the first times where um, we were have we had to do that. We had to do that. Um, the first three, we just had money to blow uh, those first two years. And, and this one, you really didn't have that because they spent a lot of money on Evan Ingram and on Christian Kirk and, on, and all that good stuff, man. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys want me to do when it comes to simulating uh, when we're in the playoffs. If you guys want me to jump in to simulate from there, uh, I will. If you guys just want me to simulate week by week, I will. Just let me know. Type it down in the comments and just let me know down below. Because uh, we do have the Atlanta Falcons next, and that will be fun because I will update the uh, draft class uh, to make that a little bit more fun as well. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it to the end of the video, uh, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. If you guys don't, by all means, don't. Uh, it really just uh, means a lot to me that people are coming back to watch my videos. I know uh, my rebuilding videos and my franchise videos are doing really, really well lately. And it really does mean a lot because I'm able to come home after work and record and just be myself, uh, be myself for you guys. And the fact that you guys are enjoying that really does mean a lot. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Till next time. This comes you guys. See ya. I need you like the sun.